Hi there, welcome to this screencast about how to get started with Sharp in a new Rails application. The first thing you need to do is just create your new Rails application. I'm just going to call it Test Sharp. Um, and then that will obviously generate our Rails skeleton directory as normal. Once that's created, I'm going to edit the gem file and I'm going to add gem sharp to the bottom of it. Or well, you can put it wherever you want in there, the bottom isn't required. And then rerun bundle. Once that gem's installed, I need to run a few Rails generators um, in order to create a couple of migrations which are needed by the, um, or two of the dependencies called Nifty Attachments and Nifty Key Value Store. So Nifty, my, uh, Nifty Attachments will just create a new table called Nifty Attachments. And Nifty Key Value Store will create one called Nifty Key Value Store. And these are used for storing um, the attachments are used for storing all your attachments uh, and nifty key value store is just a key value store once they've been generated you need to run rails generate shop setup and shop setup will create an entry in your roots file which will mount the shop admin interface at the path shop you can change that to anything you want it's up to you but the generator just puts it there so you've got some something to work with once you've generated all these uh, these these files, then just run rake shop, uh, sorry, rake db migrate, which will migrate your schema into your actual database. In in this example, we're just using the built-in default SQLite. Um, and once that's run, you can run rake shop setup, and shop setup will create your initial admin user, so you can actually log into the interface. So if we run Rails server now, which will start a web server. We open up Chrome, we're going to load close 3000. We got a standard Rails application at the root, but if we go to slash shop, here's our uh, shop admin interface. So we'll just log in with admin example.com. Default password is password. And we'll click login. And then you can see we've got our shop interface. There's no data in here at the moment, but if you wanted to use some for testing, if you run rake shop seed and then run Rails server again you'll see that we've populated this with some example products, tax rates, delivery services, categories, and things like that that you can then work with um, when you're developing an application. It saves you having to type in lots of products every time. And that's about it. That's all there is to it at the moment. Uh, you're installed. The next step for you to would be to create a new controller called product, start creating some views.